awesome, man. What brought you up? Oh, well, there's the bridge. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to get, I'm going to fire this up so I can see your comments as well. If you, if you guys are asking questions of myself or Jordan or Peter, we'll try to answer them as we can. But um, there's probably bugger off people on there yet anyway. But, yeah. They don't yeah. know what they're missing out on. This is the, this is the, 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 the amazing goal that happens, right? That well, one, one like already. A like? Yeah. Oh, yeah. start, like, I'll make comments. Oh, look, look. <laughs> I'll yep. start. Yeah? I'll just make some troll accounts real quick. How good is the troll account? Oh, yeah. the, the, the name yeah. of those people? I'm Ooh. surprised it's not a... 10 second delay, we're doing A Brian right. Owen yet. A Brian Owen? There's, there's, there's quite a few that are some version of, of me or taking the piss out of me. Yeah. There's one about your, your toe, I think. About my toe? Yeah. yeah. There's one about Brian's... Blue Bell's barefoot or something like that. Yeah, something like that. It's a photo of my barefoot up against it from when I uh, beat Brian. Um, um, as long as he's creative. I love the troll. I think mean, they're doing a great wow. job of weirdly supporting arm wrestling through like the algorithm. They're commenting on everything. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Hey, now we get comments. We get everything. All right.
think it's great because you use much more pronation than you know any other kind of hook where you're mostly focused on supinating the opponent. And it's great because yeah, you have that defense against their cut. Yeah. And it is that neutral position. You can sit in the center, bleed them. If you're doing something like a Devon, you can open them up in that you make a gap with your hand by supinating, mm. getting their fingers further out into your hand, and then now you have ample yeah, ability, yeah, so <laughs> ample ability to pronate like the can opener. Yeah. So. Oh, this is like a three second delay. Not even ten. Yeah. Just three. Yeah. Pretty good. It's amazing. Richard, people are hitting you up for uh, your opinion on Devin B. Todd. Get on the table and ask me what you're telling me about that. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I think it's going to be interesting, guys, and that's all I'm going to say. No. <laughs> you serious? Yeah, no, it's... Yeah. Man, your, 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 your thumb squeeze feels dangerous. Yeah, it's getting good. What are you weighing? First things first. What are you weighing? 89. 89! Because we do have a question. I'm when is Jordan going to hit the surface? I'm, I'm coming up, bro. I'm coming up. One ten by November, here we go. Just look at the camera. We you you look like a heavier human, I think, in that camera. Mm. Yeah, always getting the camera. <laughs> Just hits the way I show it's a size. Yeah. See the yeah. see that? What does it say? Oh nice. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Uh, represent. Yeah, represent. <laughs> yeah. This is this is my bulking shirt. It's gonna be with me at uh, I think over the top. To yeah. be honest. Oh, and and Tez user has said you're still skinny. Yep. But has asked you the question: Who's number one in Australia? In your opinion? Um, that's a loaded question. <laughs> that's a really loaded question. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna say Lachlan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Just, I, I think there's more options um, for Lachlan uh, in regards to Ben than Ben has against Lachlan, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. So I that's agree. Go I agree. I think in reality... Whether, whether Ben has too much for Lachlan, I don't know. But in my opinion, I think Lachlan has the better opportunity to be the number one in the Ben v. Lachlan mm -hmm. uh, battle for the number one. And where do you put Ryan Scott now? That's a really loaded <laughs> question. Mm. I played the fifth. Well, I, I, I've touched his yeah. hand and I've touched Mario's hand recently. Yeah. And I've obviously touched yours and Lachlan's. And I personally rank Ryan at six now mm. on the threat level from what I felt relative to what I feel in Mario. I, I feel Mario is stronger than See, Ryan. I, I nearly decided to go to WA mm. on like the same flights as Lachlan. I'm really glad I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly did an impulse buy and. And so it's going. Someone's asking me, can I do the double flop with Jordan? Yeah, that's Jules. Double Jules. Flop. What do you mean? Is it like double swan? Yeah. yeah no, no not, sure. not yet. Not just yet. Like, like that. The double swan's a good, like, I call it a flop roll. <laughs> it's, it, flop the flop roll's roll. nice. But there's a time and place for it. And for me against Jordan, it's, that's, there's never going to be that. Hmm. He's going to get it. I play that on Jordan, he just laughs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Just to give context to the Ryan Scott ranking, who's fifth and who's seventh in your mind? Um, so I've got I've got Lachlan and Ben, I've got me, I've then got Brett, then Mario. Mm -hmm. It was Mario and Brett, but after Brett, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. swapped. That's my top five. And who's seventh? Um, who's ben, next up for Ryan? The, 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 the six, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine. 8, 9, 10 actually is really interesting. I have Jordan, in no particular order, I have Jordan, Ryan Scott, um, uh, Fatali, Marcus, and Kyle Howarth. Mm. Oh, yeah. I grew Kyle Howarth over there. He, wow, he has leveled up. Mm. He's, a, he's not like 91 kilos now, mm -hmm. 18 inch biceps, mm. and out of straps. So, not that out, out impeding out man straps, anymore. I don't know about this. I had hand control, I went to get it and I just went boom on his arm and I'm like, whoa. It just was like, it wasn't any like bleep, it was just a boom. And I had to go back and squeeze him until his hand gasped and then get him. I'm like, dude, Jeez. your arm powers. And, and out of straps, he's like, can you try to top roll me? And I'm like, yeah. And I couldn't. Yeah. He was strong enough to hold on to me out of straps Jeez. but I'm top rolling. I'm like, man, you, yeah. you really leveled up. That's, That's dangerous. I actually would love you, you and Kyle right now and he, he wants... He wants you. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'd love to match with Jordan. Yeah. So, I think it's a real, he's definitely leveled up. He 
He's trying to bang all the time. Let's get that strap. I can't hold on there. That is an awful thumbnail. <laughs> It's awful thumb though. We got 41 people steady, steadily growing. Guys, ask your questions. You can come and send them through. We'll get to them when they pop up. How much are the pound for pound arm wrestling groups going to be approximately from Blitz Creek? Man, they're all um, they're all going to be different. Each handle costs a different amount to have made um, and shipped. Different and materials, stuff, different but. US dollars, the cheapest one is going to be like 35 US, the most expensive one probably 45 US. So, mm. nice. maybe reasonable. Alright, alright. Oh, Germany's Asperini has said, very nice, good training pool. <laughs> Germany's Asperini, the, yes, the, the yeah, practice king practice champion me. of the world, is in the comments section. These mean more to him than the real real red goes. Oh look at that wrist go. Nice. Nice. Look at the reaction replay. There it is. You can look down straight away and see the replay. It's freaking amazing. Hand, but <laughs> all out of his grip. 
no, normally these days, it's interesting, I, I've realised this myself, I used to set most of my grips like that. Mm. 95% of opponents I now set like this. Mm. <sighs> Big time. <laughs> I just, it's weird, the hooking side pressure has become my ace. It's just, I can top roll when I need to, when, when, when the situation says top roll, I'm comfortable top rolling. Mm. But, if I wear down on like the infrastructure in your arm more when you do the like hooking, hooking it side pressure, yeah, because you got like shoulder yeah. issues as well. Yeah, my elbow is copying it a lot, but mm -hmm. it's, I, I don't know, I, I win more matches there than I do in top roll these days, so. Alright, so what, okay. whoever just said I hustle strapped, you don't know what a hustle strap is. I didn't hustle strap, okay? You go back and watch the replay, which you can't do, I don't know, can you do that or not? <laughs> Oh, but anyway, the hustle strap implies going under without going through. We went through. I'm so fast at doing it, you didn't see. Anyway. Okay. Supercharged Marcus though is a, is a yeah. when he gets properly fired up, he yeah. he's really dangerous and strong. Adam's just got a lot of experience that Marcus has had yeah. to overcome with. Yeah. with Marcus is super vulnerable in the top row. Yeah, super and Adam vulnerable. Adam's got a wicked arm on him at the moment, so I, I'd actually love to see that match. Yeah, you should just throw out an eleven to twenty spot list <laughs> right now. <laughs> Come and stand I'm, in the camera. I'm not going to do it. Come people can hear you. And they're like, who the hell is this dude talking in the background? Like, stand just in front of Devon there. So everyone can see you. Here he comes. There's Pete. Everyone who was wondering who the hell was talking, there it is. Pete. From Armourson IQ. Yeah, right? uh, the best okay. question you'll ever read. What is it? Can you chop roll? <laughs> can, I top, <laughs> can I top roll Jordan? I <laughs> could once upon a time. Long time ago. Um, no, I can't top roll Jordan. The end it's date a, was 2017. It's a silly idea. <laughs> he's, his arm is long, his hand is big. Uh, if I try to top roll, see how much finger coverage he's got, he can out drag, I, I'm not going to take his wrist that way because he can just drag with such secure fingers <laughs> and that opens me, isolates my wrist and his longer lever just happily trying to whoop. So really bad idea to buy him a kind of big try. For me it's about fingers, it's about keeping my wrist bent and side pressure from either flat hand or inside pressure from a wrist back. Oh, nice. Or force hook and keep him out of his shoulder. You should just do a slow, you try top roll, he defends, and just see what happens. Oh, all right, just all right, all right. Like my example. All right, you know. I will try to top roll. I won't look to hook at all. I get into my comfy seat. Yeah. <clears throat> to see what my wrist does, it flattens. 
Same on YouTube. Come on. <laughs> we'll watch it on the replay together. Do it when? Yeah. Come on. Oh, when? Okay. When? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Who's ranked 29, 40 in Queensland? <laughs> uh, yeah, we've got a lot of people. Our depth is pretty solid. You guys arm wrestle. Yeah, right. She wants to see that. Oh. That good's instant replay. That's right. That's why I came to this side. <laughs> that's the, that's the premium side. When you get a pen, you can just be like, oh, that's, that's the stuff. Are you tired, Ryan? Am I tired? Who's asking that? I'm not tired. I'm just really... There's a lot of work on my elbow right now. It's good, man. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, I mean, I got, I got <laughs> blown out. Jordan, thankfully. Mate, I'm 89. Ash, Ash is Leo man 90. <laughs> last last person to who was the last person to top roll Jordan? Yana Samlins? Yeah. 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 Mm. Did you get top roll at all in Zloty? No. Yeah. Yeah. At Zloty, yeah. Eric, you got the dream run. I got. You got, got all top rolls. <laughs> you got a flop press. Yeah. I haven't seen like there's, there's very few people on earth within Jordan's weight category that I think can top roll him. Richard Rustin, strap it. Ethan Tunstall says, "Getting massive, Jordan. When are you going to catch up the 2.0?" <laughs> 2.0 is 100 kilos. Mate, I've, I've nearly done the full circle back around to where you're at, so it's fine. You know what, you should actually hustle strap this. To give yourself an advantage, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah well, I know I'm helping, you know what you're doing. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> Someone so spun out, they said, I'll pay you guys to take your shirts off. Wrong kind of channel. Mm. It's not an OnlyFans yeah, system. Yeah. Yeah, how many subscribers do you have in your only fans? Oh, it's like, you know, it's almost at yeah. 44,000. <laughs> <Good. laughs> yeah. So 44% more than YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah, Glenn, that'll, that'll be happening in uh, June, I believe. Okay. Depends on uh, Ethan. I just realised when I'm my, my, head, my head's down here reading the comments, it looks really weird. Like, what yeah. the hell is going on in the background? YouTube's just watching this. It's like, what? The hell? <laughs> 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 so this would be like a high heel. Yeah. Like I'm all I'm trying to do is just yeah. come up, yeah. bring it close to myself. That's a solid high heel. And actually. You can try, but what I like to do is I'll transition to press. Yeah. Not not press. It usually, it actually, ends with, it usually ends with a press. Or you're putting yeah. pain themselves. See, what I do is I'll change my shoulder position to lay on my tricep to rest my bicep. Yeah. And yeah. then that way, my, if, my, they, if they're in the same position, then actually, because my bicep's rested, now I can go for another surge from the height. Yeah. For me, my best match, for me personally, where I, I hooked was Evan Burgoyne bottom eight. That stop ending in a high hook with him conceding him. Oh, uh, loved it. Hey, you just gotta get strong, <laughs> just, just be strong. You just have to get hand and arms. How tall is Jordan? Uh, Six foot four? One, yeah, about one nine. Oh, one one ninety one. Yeah. Yeah. You and Elio Jordan, Pete. Oh, jeez! Oh, you, yes, you, you're you the top dog. No, <laughs> we gotta, we gotta, we gotta do what we gotta do. Jordan, how is the alternative training going? Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm That's the, the Coach Ray stuff? No, I've. Um, I've You've uh, been him? No, no, I haven't been him. <laughs> just, um, I'll take a break for the moment and mm -hmm. um, I've, got, I've got new training equipment, so I'm just trying out what I can do with it. And, uh, yeah. Henry Mullet tells me that these straps are very uncomfortable for some reason. Mm. You don't like it, Henry? It's not the perfect strap, but I, I like it. it really, to me, what I like with the strap is it tightens really nicely. To be honest, Henry, I'm surprised that the strap's big enough to get around your arm, mate. That, that thing is huge. <laughs> oh, 
78 people watching. Shout out to everyone watching. Thank you for being here. It's the best time we've done a live with you just trying to listen. I think it's good. Much easier than less, less editing. <laughs> Let's look up, Jeff. Uh, what else we got? Where would you rank Oleg Zok at the moment? I have no idea. He just won the Ukraine Nationals for his weight category, so he's on the way back. So yeah. in his weight categories, I think he might be, might be the man. I don't know. I wouldn't, if, if you're the Ukrainian national champion, you're close to the man. Um, but good chances are he will be the man again in his weight category, and then he'll start looking at the heavy skin. Lucky, honestly, I reckon all-time top eight tournament with everyone in their prime. I, I just can't see anyone being Richard. Oh, the all-time? Uh, yeah. Richard and John would be in the final, I reckon. Jeez. And the time here for Pets and asking is 8.30. PM at night. Alright, let's go, John. Yeah. Oh, that was always, that was always the top roll. Your wrist slip. You see that? I missed the replay. Should have looked at the replay. Nah, didn't happen. I felt the wrist just boop. I'm going to talk about it. Do you, you think you can stop me from talking about it right now? Oh, I'll get in my comfort chair. I think it's going to happen, YouTube. There's enough fatigue in his wrist. I think it's going to be more side pressure than top roll, but... Yeah. Oh, looks like a pretty deep top roll. Look at the replay. That's yeah, a top yeah. roll. That's a top roll. Uh, <laughs> what did you do to him? You just like... Put the kryptonite in or something. I don't know, man. I used my hand at arm strength. What do you have Jordan yeah, in Oz? Yeah. My opinion on Jordan, mm, somewhere s 6 through 8 in there. Somewhere about it's, 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 it's between Jordan, Ryan Scott and Fatali for 6 for me. And 5 being Mario. So yeah, 5 being Mario. Oh, you just got what the hell happened? Oh no, okay. You have gone to water. I've gone to water. Pete, how is that? Can't even crypt or not? Dead set, I couldn't do anything. Now it's like, well, hang on, what? Oh, now you can't do things. Oh, what the hell happened? I don't get that at all. I reckon it's the Gold Coast coming back to me. So, Mr. Blue, yeah. who do you expect to come to Australia like, internationally for the overtop? On, on the I top? have heard directly from the horse's mouth, Devon. Um, uh, Brian Espy, um, that's all I've heard directly, and then, uh, John has expressed his, yeah, willingness yeah. to, if, if travel's not crazy, in terms of restrictions, so, uh, I've heard Zilfadli say, um, Aslanov, Aslanov, yeah, Aslanov's a monster, what's his, yeah. what's his other first name? Um, but, yeah, Metella. Metella has an old. Um, yeah, I don't know. But it would be cool. On Big Mike, Metella Rangi, obviously, from New Zealand. Jordan is tired, people said. <laughs> Jordan is <Yeah>. tired. <laughs> How do you think lifting a loading pin from the ground with a wrist wrench attachment translates to arm wrestling? Ooh, very little. I know people from the House of Pain who, for instance, love grip, the grip sport. That can lift 20, 30 kilos more than I can on such a lift, yet I flash to them. So, that specific thing is very, it's not a direct correlation at all. It's not to say that a great arm wrestler couldn't also be a great grip lifter. And that makes sense, but it's not a direct reason. If anything, probably like your distal fingertips might get work, but mm. um, yeah, if you're doing it and you're not cupping as you fall, then it's literally just fingers. Here's a loaded question, and I agree with what you said from Josiah Cleland. Did you watch the Aussie Arm Wrestlers interview with Ben Carroll? Any thoughts? If so, he says Aussie competitors are below him. <laughs> 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 First thing is, I get it. Jordan's running away, he doesn't answer. First thing is, I get it 
from Ben's perspective, once you've reached a certain point and you want to continue to grow, you don't look down, you look up. And it's, I don't think he disrespects the talent and the effort of everyone else in Australia. I think he's just focused on his best opportunities for progress. I think he'd be happy to pull an Australian if the circumstances are right, but he doesn't feel the need to prove himself against any Australian. And I understand that I don't feel my need to prove myself against any 90 kilo Australian, for instance. But if a 90 kilo Australian asked me for a match because they wanted to have a crack, it's always a yes for me. So as long as Ben keeps saying yes, like Lachlan wants him, there's no way Ben is above Lachlan in reputation and ability. That is a match and it should be a match. And Ben respects that enough that he's said to Lachlan, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can do that. But Ben's priorities as Lottie and, and opportunities for him to progress. So I get it. But yes, he can't sit on his laurels and just be King Dick because he thinks he is. He's got to, he's got to at least once a year be willing to prove it. You think it's a one, like a one year lease? It is, one, yeah. yeah. One, one year's one about year. it. One year is it. <laughs> Top dog, established, one year. If you don't defend in a year, yeah. sorry, you've just decayed. Yeah. Your score has decayed. I think COVID kind of threw a spanner. Un 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 unless you go on and do something mega international. Yeah. If Ben goes and wins Lottie and the Lachlan finishes 12th in the same class, you can say, yeah, Ben's about to them. But last time I pulled Ben Carroll, I got a win on him. And we've, we've been pulling the same eight years we've both been pulling, and this was a year and a half into the sport. The, the ratio of weight was the same as it is now. He was 105 and I was 80 kilos. Mm. Now I'm 95 kilos and he's 120 or whatever. So you're 80 kilos and it's 105 kilos. Yeah, and I, and I, got it, and I beat him. Yeah. Knuckles up. Top roll, he went to slip. I grabbed his fingers like this, that they all give me that finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And didn't let him go. Yeah. And then I fish and pulled him. <laughs> so, uh, no one's safe. You can't you just always say you're safe. Very diplomatic, Ryan. Good answer. Ryan, do you rise much? Do I rise? I rise when I need to rise. I, my, my, my entire arm wrestling strategy is to do the thing that my opponent is most vulnerable to. See, Ryan does that, I just rise to the occasion. Oh, oh <laughs> that is so lame, Sorry, I thought that was terrible. Get over here and rise to the occasion right now, see if you can. See if oh. your tiredness has gone away. Good job, Pete. Can you pass me some chalk, please? No, oh, you'll see if I do a good job in a second. Ryan, did you see the Sports Centre post on the school board, Larry? No. I'll look it up. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. So, no. Do I still train wire and side pressures? Um, not currently. I'm currently doing three days a week table time plus every other day of the week medium to lightweight hand specific reps. Do you think you could beat Emmys Gasparini? No. <laughs> Emmys Gasparini I put at somewhere between rank 9 and rank 12 in the world for overalls. He is 115 kilos, mega, mega, uh, mega explosive, mega strong, mega everything. But still human. Yeah, he's human. <laughs> but no, I couldn't be. <laughs> Come on, Ryan. Right. <laughs> I'd love to train with a dude and it's training. see how I go in a hook, strap in a hook with Ernie. No, I think it's training. Todd Zilla or Ernie's. Oh, well, I think Ernie's over Todd Zilla. I think he's got the right length arm to just crack Todd Drist and have an upside pressure. He cracked Michael Todd, no worries, and looked good there. I think he would get it. I don't think, I don't think if, if Ermes is here and Todd's kind of like that, I think Ermes has enough to pin. Could be wrong. Okay. Aussie Arm Wrestler, good day, you three. Ready bang! bang! Oh, yeah, ready bang. <sighs> Alright, let's see if you're back. Oh, you're not back. You're not back. You're it's, not back. Pete. It is one way traffic. Thank you, too easy. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Taking candy from my baby. It is. I'll give you room. I'll give you room. What are these guys ranked? What you, where's Pete ranked in the was the armor swing thing? That's a sore spot for Pete. Uh, What's your weight, Pete? I'm just like 80 on the dot. 
80 on the dot, so you'd be top top three, top five in 80s? Yeah. In Australia? Australia? Yeah, but like, where do you place yourself? Hey, hey. Not top three, not top five. Not top five? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't. Not top five? Uh, surely. Uh, surely. I don't keep humble, man. Let's <laughs> do that. Just, just call them out. <laughs> There's not a lot of excess cash in my account, so I, I, I could build back from zero. <laughs> Why do they call me Blue Aldo Rodriguez? Because of my red hair. It's like calling a big guy tiny. And it was synonymous with Australian soldiers in World War One that had red hair. So I was in, when I was in the army that was giving me. His wrist is going, YouTube. It's tired. Tired Jordan is in trouble. <sighs> I think I could pin you at any time right now, but I don't want to out bleed you. Okay, I'll do that. Jordan, no. <laughs> Jordan, <laughs> Jordan loves the old bleed out. It's like we're kind of steaming eggs, right? No, I know he's, now he's pulsing. I'll sing. Matt Mask for you, see we got? Matt Mask? I got Mask. Is this the WAL again? Or? Just wherever it happens. Uh, it's gonna be left this time, I think. Why not rise through his hand and fingers? Right now, David Hudson, I could. I could pin you on right now. But he, I said I was gonna have bleeding. And, he, and he's accepted that challenge. So we're sitting at about 30% pressure, 40% pressure, something like that. And it's a hand bleed out. He, he's trying to bleed out my flexes. I'm trying to bleed out his shoulder and his wrist. Let's see what happens. I know it looks boring, but there's actually a lot going on. Now he's pretending that his wrist is going? Or is that your wrist going? Okay, all the, all the, <laughs> he's still there. <laughs> but I, I think I could pin you right now. You probably could, but that's not what we're playing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is Steaming Eggs right now. This is Steaming yeah. Eggs, yeah. yeah. Are there any reach of troll accounts yet? I can't believe there's not a reach around. Yeah, right. Something. Right. There's got to be a little reach I'm around. I'm too low profile, guys. Someone, oh, someone tonight might make a reach around um, troll account. Mm. Was it, what would it be like, Dordan Davis? Dordan Davis. Dordan Davis. Dordan Davis. Dordan Davis. Dordan <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just the reach around. Just like... <laughs> Dordan Larry. Someone told Dilla. Guys, I... <sighs> no. It's a bleed game. Too hard to know, yeah. It's a bleed game. Right now, it's I'm getting low on the lactic acid. Oh, it's in here. My hand actually just finds my elbow that is feeling it. I still feel I could pin if I had to. Right now, I think I could get through his defense if I searched. I don't think Jordan could get through mine if he said, unless he timed it really well. Pretty much. Um, but I'm starting to doubt my ability to out bleed him. You should be, because I'm fine. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not. <laughs> My bicep's really bleeding. Um, ah, can I pin you yet? <laughs> I want to pin him. <laughs> oh, are you witty? You're really witty. <laughs> Shit. I think Jordan saw this now. I've never, I've never been <laughs> in I just thought he felt weak enough that I thought I was going to maybe get it. Ah! David reckons bleeding the hand is the best feeling. Well, this is bleeding this my bicep broke your ass. Fuck I'm gonna I'm gonna have to pin you. I can't I can't. No, see. you said you were. No, I You I, said that you could outlast me. No. Come on, Ron. Rise. Oh hey, yeah, rise to the head. Can I I wanna pin you? Oh shit. Todd Zilla. This is all for your entertainment guys. Todd Zilla be lucky, he would win. <laughs> I've said it before, I think Lachlan, I think Lachlan has the right shape, the right style, the right offense to get the job done against him. If it was in a hook, I go Todd. If Lachlan cracks Todd's wrist, I go Lachlan. I can't imagine Todd being like that against a Lachlan like this. 
and surviving. <laughs> can you yeah, no, 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 no. I want to see that if I can video, right? I can't feel the fingers. <laughs> so, you win the bleed out. Let's go back there again and I'll see if we can finish. Just gently into that bleed out again. Ready, three, two, one. Yeah. Oh, we got a super chat. Tony for a hey. little man, Tony. On ya. What time is it there? What time? I'm sure he spent $2 to find out what time it is. That's pretty Mate, that's cool. We may as well tell him. It's uh, 8.38, just turned just over. Just turned, literally oh. flicked over. Start so counting every 16 and you'll be right. Ooh. Yeah. What's the arm wrestler is, asked the question. Ooh. Who is reach around and calling out next? I don't call anyone out. Jordan's a real, quite kind of passive dude, he just yeah. slimmies through the grass. Yeah. You're a tournament guy, you like yeah. tournaments a lot, don't yeah. you? But I much prefer tournament. Um, you're you're keen things. for the um, over the top, aren't you? Oh yeah, that's, yeah, that, that, that's my main aim for the year. I'm, I'm all for um, over the top, I want that 10 grand. Mm. I don't care who stands in my way. Mm. So. It's going to be a good tournament. There's, there's no one too Whoever wins that. I think calls themselves straight away number one in Australia. Mm. Yeah. That that yeah. that that tournament yeah. will determine for, 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 yeah. for a current <laughs> update. That you win that tournament, you're the man. Yeah. Because it's gonna have everyone in. Yeah. Mm. It really is. Yeah. Um, especially if, if the likes of you know if Devon and S become man, that's a good tournament. Yeah. What I love about it, and, and it'll be a great opportunity for Australian wrestling to show where we're at. It's no certainty that either of those guys win. Mm. In my opinion, yeah. you put. Ben, Lachlan, yourself, myself, Mata Rangi, Mario. Yeah. Like the, the, the depth, the breadth, the depth is really yeah. solid. You get big cards. You get, there's a hard match, have a hard match anywhere. Which Devon, let's face it, Devon's not a flash pin dude. Well, I mean, he might until it's the final. I, I think it's hard to flash pin Ben Carroll. Could Devon yeah. flash pin yeah. Ben Carroll? Yeah. It's no. like flash? No. Flash? Yeah, I think so. Oh, no. No, Ben is in. No, ben is Ben finished no. fifth in the super no. heavyweight slot. He's not going to get flashed. Ben, would, if no. if Devon went to flash Ben, he would go under and just say, "Bring it." If it lasts more than two seconds, I'll just flash. I would oh, just. I can't see it. I can see Devon winning, but it would be uh, with a stop, yeah. control, squeeze, bleed. Nah. Mm, can't yet. Mm, 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 mm. And then he'd look at Ben and be like, "All right, you ready, bro?" Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. That's how we go. You think Flash? Yeah. Flash! Ah. <laughs> Didn't he flash um, Yannick? At one point? I mean, not that that's really like a one to one comparison, but you know, he might not he's got, try he's, and he's got a slow. Yeah. Someone's asking me what I think about Matt Mask's channel growth. I think it's awesome. I love seeing the elite athletes of the world nice transition in their pit. Um, <laughs> I like seeing the elite armors of the world tap into that. Yeah. He's within the space of three weeks at like 15k subs and an earnings potential of about a yeah. thousand bucks a week he's already making. So that's pretty good. Go on your mask. Um, what's another question? A match we'd like to see in WAL is Jordan. For Jordan is either Luke King or Tom Holland. What are your thoughts? Who would you prefer, Luke King or Tom Holland, Jordan? Oh, for the match itself? I reckon you want Tom Holland. I'd want Tom Holland. Yeah. Yeah. It'd no, be a spectacle. No, yeah. Him and Tom would be me, amazing. Me and Luke would be either I think, I think, you know. Well, Luke's a fast top roller, which is yeah. the worst thing. He's just much shorter than you. I think you'd be fairly comfortable with it, Luke. Yeah, it'd, it'd either be a, a pin either. But Tom, Luke. Tom, Tom's up there in the clouds with you. Yeah, and, and he's a booker. And he wants to. So he, he, he's doing this, and you're doing the extreme top roll, and he's. This, it's going to stop somewhere like this. Mm. And it's going to be like, what the hell happens now? Mm. And it'd be great to see. Yeah. <laughs> great to see. But you can hook if you have one to. Yeah. And I mean, even that's interesting if you both bang into a hook and all of a sudden you, there's these two giraffes trying to out rotate each other. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. awesome. Two I love it. people who could be lightweights. Mm. I mean, you having a lightweight for the majority of your career. Yeah. So, yeah, basically, two of the tallest lightweights in the world. <laughs> Josh Barker well. says you're a weapon. Go, Pete. Oh, thanks, Josh. You're a weapon. You still have a can opener. Hey, hey, yeah, you're a weapon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just doesn't have enough firepower. Aldo's <laughs> asked me how do I go against Jeff Hale. Um, I think I would probably be just uh, 
just due to my size, I'd have the edge. Jeff's an elite lightweight. Um, I've never pulled him. I've pulled other guys that Jeff has had matches with. And I felt pretty alright just on the power level difference. I think I, I'm a hooker as well at the moment. I'd happily go into hooking and I think I'd be okay. But Jeff's fast. So there's always a way. <laughs> Who is your best 75 kilo guy in Australia? Sam Burnett. Sam Burnett. Yeah. It's got to be Sam. Yeah. Sam can drop. Sam walks around 78. So he can be 75 easy. I know he wants to go to Zlotty and things like that. Uh, yeah. yeah 75 is a good one. Because we do have some Melbourne Arnolds. Mm. So who's top three on their 75? Tim Gatsby would be next. Mickey Lentovich and Tim. Um, or N Nick Burnett. Yeah, Nick Burnett. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. all the there's, bands there's, are looking good. There's four that would definitely be probably What's, what's my four. phone fact? Does it say what my phone fact is? Nah. Josh Barker. Bar that kill it, Jordan. Josh Barker, my... 47. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good, guys. Yeah, Josh Barker, yeah. absolutely, actually, yeah. Yeah. He's strong, he, you know, supernative connective tissue. So, uh, yeah. For me, I go Sam 1, Josh Barker 2, probably. Then, I haven't seen Tim Gatsby in so long. I don't know if he's maintained, but he was... The guy at 70. So, well, Jordan, you're gonna kill it, man. Uh, just move it back up. It's okay. You're gonna kill it. Jordan, if you only see the way that we prop this up, it's not professional. We'll put picks up later. <laughs> yeah. What's the elite back pressure mark for light and medium? Uh, I can do 60. Go, guys. I can do yeah. Let's see if that works. I reckon it's like 10 kilos. Are you trying to show people what? Yeah. Oh, Look at this. Reception. Look at really this, guys. Mm. Yeah, Not good. Have Not I good. ever pulled for Ed Hoagland? No. Danny Tesh has. Yeah. Throw it up. Danny beat him. At WL's 2017. Uh, scream like Goku. <laughs> 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 no, no thanks. <laughs> Uh, depends, uh, it depends how much the super chat is. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, if you, if you, I would give Pete the Goku's super chat. If someone makes a, a, a super chat Goku uh, from all request, that, uh, people, uh, people do it. I don't, I don't know how. Uh, is it the Kamehameha? Kame, no, I think it's literally just yelling in like increments. <laughs> like, oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Like you're, like you're changing gears. Okay, and okay. And then, and, then, and then you need to pee me at the end, I hope. Once you, once you tap into that big screen. Uh, it'd be pretty big. Cringy. Someone give a bit of a shout out for Matt yeah. Warangi's channel. He's been producing good content the last few weeks. Plug in, yes. Big Matt Warangi. If you Absolute best in New Zealand. Hasn't lost in a decade over there. Uh, yeah, like, and he's won the Oceanic Supers a number of times. Is there anyone really to give him a run for his money in New Zealand? No. Like, who's top? Second Three. in New Zealand is like Charles Puri, I think. Okay. Who's the. Oh, James Wells. Yeah, James is a uh, yeah, like guy, yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. say. Yeah. Pete as well. Has anyone, anyone here pulled Nicholas Nurse I have. 2015, over the bar at Malaysia WAP Worlds. Um, I was a year into the sport and Nick felt like a freaking mutant. Couldn't do a thing to him then. But not since I've been coming on wrestler. Yeah, so no. I might need a sub you when you want. No, you're alright. Keep going. Is Danny Tesh still missing? Um, so I saw a comment. <laughs> so I, I saw a comment. From someone saying they saw. They, they, they said I legit saw Danny, um, and they were saying it was in the US. So I'm like, oh, wow. I don't think yeah. Danny during COVID <laughs> would be traveling, but you never know. Danny, yeah. Danny's Danny. He might be. I haven't seen him in two years. Um, yeah, like he's a spy. Danny yeah, acts like one. <laughs> That's for sure. Danny, I. I, from the leaked information about Danny, I don't believe Danny is interested in armor singing the world. Make it sound like it's, a, it's in the freaking, you know, secret files of the US government. Yeah. <laughs> from the leaked information. The most gas thing. Jordan, come on. My thumb is super gas. Super gas. And usually I just get that in straps. Yeah. I don't know if you guys get that. Come on, Jordan. Come on, Jordan. The balance might have returned. Yeah. Out of straps? Yeah. I can't hold on to out of straps. Ever. I'll try. Shit. I gotta go low when I try that though. Oh, that's real bad. <laughs> I hate that contact. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> I cannot. Where 
this collection out those strips. Hey Ryan, I am with a dedicated group of pools from a country with very little competitive armor to do any tips on starting small scale tournaments. Um, mm, we started, Brisbane started in parks yeah. and we just met every weekend and people walked past and looked at us and funny and was like, what's that? We, still we, slowly, that. we yeah. slowly accumulated more people. We then established a, a Facebook presence for people to find us and get information about us for all the people that walked past but were too nervous to come up to us. And then once you've got people, treat them well in terms of how you train them, be, don't hurt them, arm wrestle intelligently and focus on technique and focus on conditioning and don't go crazy and then you will grow. That pronation is no joke from Norwich Arm Wrestling. You're talking about me, Jordan. Talking about my pronation? <laughs> No, Jordan's promotion is no joke, absolutely. I've just done. How long have you been doing this for? Uh, we're we're about four hours on, I think. 50 minutes in. Right now. Alright. Oh! Some balance. I don't think either one can pin right now. I can. You can't. I can. No, you can't. I can. Do it then. <laughs> oh. See? Yeah, right. Replay. There's the replay. <laughs> all right. Well, now I need to prove that I can still pin you if I just don't let you in the door. I think. All right. Let's try that. I think I can pin you in my first first go. Oh, no, which I'm missing. Saying, wow, I'll laugh out loud. Watch this, Norwich Armour. <laughs> Watch this. Although, you want to say this to more than players who got to do the army, so it's going to be tough. Alright. Yep. <laughs> it's all mine, baby. <laughs> what damn that one? Oh, Norwich Armour is the... He's laughing so hard right it's now. All for you, Norwich. <laughs> oh, man. Just playing my little again. Alright, we've got the balance back now. <clears throat> I've got my okay. balance for okay. you've got a little... I want you to remember. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Never what a wiser word said. Mm. Tess user. Gurney's asked for anyone else to come in and kill him, wouldn't Gary? I don't know. In, in what sense, Gurney's? Wow, he must be number one in Australia now. According to Gurney's Asperini, he just took the title. Well, it will be at the end of the year, but cheers, mate. Oh, Derek, cool. Derek. Ryan, beat Tom Holland right now. Get Jordan ready for a future match. I can't, nah, beat, I can't grow five inches. Unless Tom's chucking on 30 kilos, we're not going to be having a match. Bra Bravis Tajan has asked, have, Bravis have you ever had an tendonopathy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, did you have surgery? No, I haven't had no. surgery on tendons. Tendonopathy, is that just like seriously inflamed tendons to the point where they're breaking down? Uh, I, wish, I wish you could say Bravis Tajan. Yeah, okay, so yeah. which is... Yeah. But it can get more severe. Okay. You need a red bull. You need a red bull. I'm going to pin Jordan now. No, you need the wings to fly. Norwich Arm Wrestling. Here we go. With that kind of grip? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess so. I'm going Saplanko oh, Flow. Right. Saplanko Flow. Look how low. Look, at, look how low. I'm touching the bottom strap. That's how low yeah. I'm going. Jordan, will he dive in on me? Or will he try to be his typical shape? Hello, Devanati Larek Vikashvili. Yeah, where do you think the, the line is between a low grip and a dad move? There. There. <laughs> For all the viewers at home. Yeah, well, well yeah. All if right. your top finger is thumb, I'd, I'd say that's pretty damn close all to right. That was a tester I wanted to see oh, how yeah, safe yeah. it felt. No, I was scared yeah. to surge. Uh -huh. this, now I know. It was a sample. Yeah. It was a sample. He's going to start on top. Norwich, I'm, yeah, I'm, Norwich, I'm, yeah. I'm going this time, Norwich. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't holding anything yeah. back. It's going to be a gentle easing followed by a surge for me. I'll leave a pin you where I won't. Right. <laughs> gentle easing! <laughs> 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 That's a gentle easing. 
gentle as I can make it. Uh, yeah, let's go again. That's a puzzle, they're coming out. <laughs> Three, two. <laughs> yep. Any slower than that, I'll stop it. Say again? Any slower than that, I'll stop it. It is, you can feel the release. No, I'm pushing and, into it. Oh, well, the release anxiety of me is like, came up down like. <laughs> yep. Ah, I'm losing it. He's hard like I lost it. <laughs> So yeah, everyone's wrist is getting bigger if you're in that wrist. Yeah. All right, Jordan, you're hurting me a lot right now. Yep. Ooh, I might have it here, YouTube. It might be back. I've gone up into the hand rather than on the arm. It feels much better. Oh, there's a stop, but it's not over. It's close still. <laughs> Norwich, the Norwich Gate, right there. 
Who just every time I ever pin you like that, I'm like, cool, there's the Norwich gate. Walk through the Norwich gate. <laughs> I'm going through the Norwich gate again, do you guys ready? Norwich gate time. Oh, oh it's great! Right. Nearly went, nearly you went. almost shut the door. I nearly shut that door. <laughs> like hard. <sighs> what would we think about the level of Armistice and Bunbury from the Venati to Larry Fish? I told you all, mate. Oh, yeah, this is solid. This was impressed with a couple of dudes that had really good elbow connectivity. Um, I forget the guy's name, the long, long hair. Mm, and Hamish was good as well. Versatile, young guy, 19 years old, that really moved well, kind of like young Ethan. That's solid, man, they're a good club. Brian, what happened to my upper back? Oh, yeah, I've always known that. Alright, I'm going through Norwich Gate. Yep. Oh, the gate's open! The Norwich Gate! Alright, Norwich time. Oh, it's Norwich time, baby! It's not Norwich. <laughs> he set the shoulder. <laughs> you saw that link YouTube. Oh, you yeah. Jordan <laughs> Jordan and his bloody wings. Once he got that shoulder like this, the yellow Jordan shoulder. Uh, once that connected tissue lock gets in place, though, it's like, it's just side. There's just. Where are you going? Oh, I'm getting Pete back on the phone. Oh. Pete Armistice too. It's the Norwich game. Oh, I'll know which game. Oh, I'll, 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 I'll I'll show you. Very cool. Can you give me some chalk, please? <laughs> no. I will know which gate. <laughs> do you chalk up the whole hand? Because I know John. Yeah, I do. I like it. the back of his hand. I like it down here. Yeah. I like it. I like contact not to slip anywhere. Where are we? Norwich. <laughs> Norwich says, ah, the Achilles heel has been exposed. What, the flop? <laughs> <laughs> Blue monstrosity, shout out to you, brother. I don't know what you're crying. He's crying about something. I think it's because I got pinned or something by you. Mm. Uh, Blue monstrosity, one of the uh, troll army. Blue monstrosity? Yeah. That's a new one. Yeah, it's pretty new. It's pretty, it's got a really cool picture that he sent me there. Oh, if you want to see that thumbnail post, check out my Instagram. It's right the Norwich Gate. It's just right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just right there. Just like, just, just, just a very neutral we, over. Yeah, it was, it was just yeah. a touch of clamp, yeah. followed by a touch of rise, followed by a, through the gate. It wasn't out, it was just through the gate. It's, it's a very fair move, that one. Yeah. Do you shadow ban haters like Michael Todd does? Yes! I do. <laughs> the nasty ones. Yeah. I don't, honestly, I don't have time for people that just. The question was, do you shadow ban haters? Yeah. If you don't know what shadow ban is, shadow ban is people can still watch yeah. your channel. They can still comment on the channel, but no one, including myself, will see the comment. Really? That's what wow. the shadow ban is. Yeah. That was recommended to me by Tom Boyden. He's like, yeah, right. dude. He's like, Tom said to me, I have like. 10,000 people in my shadow band list. <laughs> but honestly, wow. it's, you just, no, I don't want to read just pure yeah. nastiness. It's the nastiness that will get shadow banned. You can say you don't like me, or you can say I think I'm going to get hammered. That's cool. But you start getting nasty, I'll just go, shadow <laughs> It doesn't bother me. How's that sound effect? Shadow band, shadow band. What's the wrist size of, of small brother? Who's small brother? Which one of us is small brother? Oh, I'm guessing I'm brother bearing all the small Can you see, ones, Jordan? Though. Can you see the tape measure? Where's the right hand? <laughs> There's usually. Uh, the tape measure floating around. The pink one? Yeah, the pink one. It's not much. Not much work. Where is it? Where is it? It's got to be here somewhere. Let me check it out. Quick. 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 Inches, 
strap and then like a roll on. <laughs> We're trying to find the tape measure. No. Sorry. Don't have it. Don't have it. Hmm. Oh, you need some measuring tapes on top of how I'm resting. Yeah. <laughs> Think about it. And ones it, that, oh, ones that have a clip. strap as well. No, ones that have a clip. <laughs> So you, yeah. you clip onto your own arm and then you just pull it and it shows you the guide as to where it yeah. is. Pip, someone just saying, can you show us the difference in your forearms? Is it in my left and my right? Um, yeah. Camera angles might be at play, but right, left. It, it's a big angle game. My left is not as bad as it looks in some photos because I try to accentuate in some photos. But my left pump is like 16, my right pump is like yeah, 14, really cool. 14 and a half, right. 14 and 3 quarters on right. my left. Yeah. Come on. Nah. Come on, I think we're good. Pete, get right. Mm -hmm. we'll, uh, Again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm some <laughs> flare. Uh, no. It was so buggish from um, training with the Gold Coast Club earlier today. Yeah, I had a bloody... Fatality swinging on my arm, so. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Sam gave me several training pins. I don't know why. Bradis, Tajan, are you close to Juji or Tom? I, I've got their number. I wouldn't say I'm close to like buddies and hanging out with them, but I've got their number. And I, uh, the best thing I have to do with Tom and Juju when they were still doing. Oh, when they were still you was they came to Australia and did uh, some uh, workshops and fitness expos and they got me to be the arm wrestling coach on that, so that was fun. Any last questions guys? Hit us up whilst we're live. I think that's it. I think that makes John's tired. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Does Brzenk have big wrists? Yes, yes, he does. Brzenk is one of those guys who looks on camera not as big as he is in reality. He's quite, he's thick everywhere. His thumb, his hand, he's, he's just solid. His head, go and put a hat on, borrow a hat from John and you'll be able to notice that, like, hang on, what? <laughs> really? Yeah. What do you think of his, um, his little gimmick of putting the, I think, Joe, John's arm wrestling style, there's a couple of things that he does really unique to anyone else. And that being one of them, John, John, when, when John does wrist flexion, a lot of people wrist flexion with an emphasis here on the bottom fingers. John always wrist flexion with emphasis on the top two. Um, and John stands away from the table too, so you'll see John with his hip away. Mm -hmm. When John is negotiating a group, and often his initiation is like this, he's got one foot, he's really, he's almost, his feet are almost in line. Um, and John will stand hip away like this, and that changes the feel of your pronation. Here, pronation is different to here. I don't know, there's something about it, there's more, there's more direct side pressure involvement, and subsequent, I think, uh, he, John's ability to contain before pronating is really solid, but yeah, but yeah, if you're um, it, I, guess, I guess, yeah, yeah, it's like it's kind of like you're able to force, yeah, I like guess just more pressure per square inch. Well, yeah, I yeah. need a top knuckle. But. And John's all about combining pronation and, and reflection. Because so, do you think it makes it more susceptible to someone like low hand top rolling? Because it's just only if not as much down there. you're unable to threaten here, like, if you're dominant here mm. and you're doing this, it doesn't matter, yeah. But if I'm if you're dominant there, and I'm just trying to come through here, then yeah, you'll roll me out. Yeah. But, but every time I've ever gripped John and tried the top roll, it's it's crazy. He can just, just any time, it's just like, oh. Mm. That's a tired John too. <laughs> just yeah. imagine. John's shoulder, yeah. where I feel comfortable with John, and John will happily admit it, that here, like, you can feel the limit of John's side pressure. It literally. As it cranks up and we're both in a deep hook and we both just go side, you feel this da -da 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 in your shoulder. It's audible and, it, it, and you can feel it and his pressure just hits the ceiling. And he goes, yeah, that's, that's, that's it for me on side pressure. And that's, with, with that hand, when we just do this, 
his side pressure is like at best 90% off. Now, and it's a complete stop. And it's like, wow. Well, so, he, and he said, and he says that that's like been constant his whole essential armistice career. So, he's as dominant as he is with, with only that much side pressure. Um, it tells you something about the data of side pressure. It's not no. the be all and end all. Mm-hmm. John's John. And he, John's John mainly because of this. Um, John's back pressure was like 68 kilos or mm-hmm. something, which is yeah. up there, but it's, but it's his wrist and uh, well, yeah, it kind of seems like everything else he does is amplifies the side pressure because everything you do with the hand and wrist is to gain leverage and to amplify your whole arm. Mm. But then when you drag back, bringing everything close to you, that amplifies your side pressure. So it's kind of like his weakness yeah. is just the thing that just goes through the roof. Yeah. Your strengths, yeah. so they can drag to the side finally. How does Torben stack up? How was he seen? I think Torben's at like somewhere from like 12 to 15. And the overall strengths? No, a little bit lower at the moment. Yeah. He's a little bit. Well, he, I mean, he had a, the, the best super match I've seen in Australian Arm Wrestling was him, him and Adam Moore. Mm. And Torben won it. Um, Torben, Torben's a bad dude. Yeah. But, yeah, sure, he might be a little bit lower, but that's where I'd be. 12 to 15. Sense it's really suited to it, it looks good. It's yeah, it could be a great Olympic sport. Can you guess the height of Andre? Sorry, of Sasha Andre. I think he's five foot five, maybe four. <laughs> he's little, maybe four foot five. He's really <laughs> short. He's the, he's the best example of how to be a short arm wrestler. Davis, my idol, says Flash Baron Rahito. Oh, thanks, man. Flash Baron. Do you want to give a shout out to Flash Baron? Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it, Flash Baron. <laughs> Alright, guys, thank you so much for joining us on the live. Um, it was a good training session. Appreciate it. Thank you for uh, joining us. You ripped my arm open at yeah. first. You then became weirdly weak for a period. Yep. Yeah. And then he came back and you got some pins and went back and forth and I think you ended up just a little bit on top. Oh. Pete, good to have you here, man. <laughs> you felt weak as fist the whole time, but it's alright. <laughs> uh, you, you can blame the gold face club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know but, a lot of poor girls. Guys, it? seriously, Pete, all you plug in Pete's channel, I'm wrestling IQ. Table, table, table IQ. Table IQ. Table IQ. What is this? Dot net. Okay, you can tell I'm there all the time. Mm. Um, because I know the URL clearly, but what the service Pete does to the arm wrestling world is for the novice to amateur guys to low level pros that just want to work out the biomechanics, the, the how to basics of getting arm wrestling right, you'll find it all on this guy's channel. Pete by Pete? He's a humble dude too. I'm extremely humble. (laughs) He doesn't even put himself top yeah. five in the country for 80. I think he could. Yeah, well, yeah, next time you make a win, put me on it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Thanks so yeah. for joining us, yeah. guys. Now to end this awkwardly without smashing Don't the camera. Don't smash the camera. Don't smash the camera. Don't. Whoa! Whoa. Don't.